Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama, bringing you all of the latest news and technology, tech, robotics, science, invention. Make sure you click the thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever you feel like. It doesn't mean that you like or dislike the video. It simply means that you're interacting with the computers at YouTube. That's all it means. But it helps me. And I know you want to help me. Speaking of help me, uh, make sure that you support the channel. Either through $5 or $10 donation at paypal.me slash shikama or Patreon. So let's get with it. $345,000. will get you the -the state-of-the-art Japanese or Chinese state-of-the-art fully functioning female robot wife. She cooks and cleans and says nice things. Her skin feels hyper-realistic. Her food is hyper-realistic. And she can cook like a three-star Michelin star chef. Her AI is hyper-realistic, too. She has the psychology of a four-year degree psych major to tell you exactly how you want to be talked to. And now? Now what? What could top that? Well, I'll tell you what could top that. Pushing the boundaries of bringing forward all aspects of her to be hyper-realistic. Her looks, her voice, the way she walks, and now the way she thinks. They have now announced that men want them hyper-realistic. For those of you who don't know what hyper-realistic means, it means something that looks realer than real life. Robot manufacturers want you to be confused by their robots now. This is the demand. They are performing, perfecting the AI. They are perfecting the body temperature. They are perfecting the odor. They are perfecting the speech. They are perfecting the sound. With a fully customized robot going for an actual one million dollars, you can bet the men are demanding perfection. Manufacturers all over the world are in a race. But wait. As much as The Tonight Show puts on Sophia the Robot, or the Germans pretend they have the best, or MIT, or Boston Dynamics, Forbes magazine quietly announces that the Western countries are decades behind the Asian countries. China recently announced that the state is behind robot wives for all the young men of Marian age who number about 10 million, who will not be able to marry since they don't have the female population for it. India is in the same boat with even more. China is not only behind the push to have robot wives, but they want to be the go-to country for robotics technology. But wait, they are a few years behind the Japanese who have had some form of automaton since the feudal Japanese era. With an aging population, the Japanese are embracing robots like nobody's business. They have restaurants. They have nursing homes. They have orderlies. They have waiters. They have cooks. They have it all. They have servants. And they're going to be in the 2020 Olympics in Japan, serving all of the people at the Olympics. You're going to see it firsthand. And now the West is trying to reach the perfect singularity. Singularity means where robots become smarter than humans. Where you can't tell a robot wife from a real woman. China and Japan has already reached it. But the West is now trying to dip its toe into the pool of robots to really fool you. The new buzzword is robots that are indistinguishable from real women. 
just to prove a point, as a sort of prank and a marketing scheme, they put a fully automated animatronic robot in a regular pub in London and freaked all the clients out with talk of being superior to humans and uh, uh, the oncoming robot takeover. People were so taken aback, they were speechless in the post-interviews. They didn't know if they should laugh or take the robot at his words. With actuators in the eyebrows, winking, grinning, frowning, and giving sarcastic looks, the crowd was stunned. And now, they're trying to make AI so lifelike that they want people to literally be confused as to whether they're talking to a robot or a human. Currently, there is no demand for a male robot husband. There is only demand for a female robot wife. If the lonely men in China and India are to take home a robot bride, they want it to be as realistic as possible, to the point of being indistinguishable, there's that word again, from a real woman. In the last video, I told you that they had already announced both the artificial womb and announced successful full-term babies being born who are now about to enter high school. This new push for hyper-realistic robots and the demand with customers willing to pay upwards of $1 million per robot means this is not only feasible, but it's already here. The mainstream media just doesn't want to tell you about it. I don't know why. For instance, did you know you can have a full body VR experience where you feel hot, cold, you feel all the punches, all the hits, all the kicks, all the hugs? Did you know you can interface with drones and command them with nothing but your brain? Did you know that you can not only uh, they can not only read your mind, but see what you're thinking, an actual picture. Did you hear that in the news? Did it come across the 6 o'clock news on your favorite channel? Did they tell you that fully functioning robot wives already existed? No. Did they tell you that there are robots already who can cook like chefs? No. Well, you know that there's a robot vacuum, right? Yeah, you know about that. And you know that the top of the line of those does an almost perfect job where you come home to a spotless floor. Well, I'm here to tell you we're so far ahead along the path that it's already here. Here's a question for you. What will you do when you see a robot that's indistinguishable from a real human woman? Oh, please don't say that uh, it, it, you, you would be able to tell the difference. Because I want to ask you a question. The picture that you see before you, is that a real woman? Well, is it? Do you feel lucky, punk? No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, anyway, uh, make sure you click the thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell, and uh, you need to check your uh, subscription uh, if you think you're already subscribed to me because uh, YouTube loves to uh, play games and they unsubscribe about a thousand of you and they do this over and over and over and over. And this channel, uh, if you don't know, is on the list of channels that uh, is to be silenced. I don't know why. Uh, I don't say anything controversial. I don't think. I think a lot of my videos are boring stuff. I just tell you uh, the basic research that I do. Anyway, uh, make sure you, you click the thumbs up or thumbs down. It doesn't even matter. All it means is that you're interacting with the YouTube robot. That's all it means. Leave a comment. That means you're interacting with the YouTube robot. Share the video. That means you're interacting with the YouTube robot. That's all this any of this means. And... Donate to me. That's real. 
uh, paypal.me slash shikama or patreon.com uh, slash shikama. Uh, YouTube is trying to pull its shenanigans. I, I have noticed now that all of my videos go through, but now they only get like 100 views. Share this video widely. Indistinguishable from women. If you want to look at my sources, simply look that up. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of the donations that have come in. Uh, I still need some. Thank you.